wanted to point out that you did, I might have mentioned it before, you did this wonderful uh, tribute uh, mural, basically, of uh, Samella Lewis. And the interesting thing was, when we were talking uh, before this recording began, you were mentioning how it wasn't quite finished yet, and that's the sort of the spirit of that saying that she has where it's not finished yet. I was just wondering, that's, that's almost like a, a common artistic thing. Sometimes you're almost never finished with a piece, really, when you walk away from it. Is that, is that accurate? By the way, and what was it like? I don't, I'm throwing two questions at the same time, but what was it like uh, being asked to do that? That must have been an honor, I'm guessing. Well, to answer the question, I guess, I, I wanted to do it. I don't know if I was asked to do it. Oh, that's even better. The, I, the initiative came from you. Yeah, I, I'm in a space that she's responsible for. Yeah. And I've, there's a, there's a handful of artists, maybe, maybe even more that I can count, you know, that are not with us today that I probably have met. And it's scary to think in the future that that would probably continue to happen. Mm-hmm. Whether it's, others or if it's me in relationship to someone else having to be like, oh, I knew this. Right. But it's just the the heritage, you know, that is that's here. I, I I've worked in other places and been around the culture to see the importance of people who came before me. Sure. And it was hard to be in this space and, okay, I can do this. And many times as, as I've done it, to not do it. So I think it's a wonderful thing on multiple levels. I mean, the piece itself to me is very uh, attractive and interesting. And um, I, I really like what you did and your interpretation of it and so on. But at the same time, the fact that you thought to to do it and to acknowledge sort of not acknowledge ancestors I guess in a sense I just think it's it's to be respectful of those who came before us is always a good thing I think and it's so nice that you you did that yeah yeah I have I had fun with it I had think I, have, I probably had like one little moment but when that came up it was like oh yeah that's right she said this and I'm like I think the next day I came in Hey Keisha, what was that statement she said? Yeah, she tells me the statement. I think maybe that's what this should be. Versus me having this idea in my mind that oh, it, this is the end result. Like I see an end result in my head. But of course, like most pieces, most art pieces, we there's some sort of end result that you know we're looking for some kind of result at the end whether it's uh, uh, something you see you know Uh or if it's something you feel and would you say there's something that something else you think you might end up doing to it that you haven't done yet is it does it feel that way to you oh i've had the thought a few times yeah but it sounds like you've resisted the thought though you're not going to you gonna leave it alone, or are you gonna? Yeah, resist it. Honestly, I can't say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the that's the other beauty in art that I find is that um, people take things in better when they when they're in front of it, uh, or if they don't know that you know that this thing is going to be involved. Right. Uh, I think the way we see art now, it's like everyone wants to see it before it, you know, it's like you, you before, want me. Before it's ready to be seen. Yeah.